Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you as you join. Come on in. Let's get ready to uh, rock and roll. God bless you as you join. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning as you join. Bless you. Thank you for being here this morning. Greetings to you all. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Man, thank you so much. You guys are such a blessing. We praise God for you. Good morning. Let's let's drop a two in the chat. Make me sure make sure we've got good audio. Make sure we've got good audio. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Come on. We're so thankful to be here today. We're so thankful to be here today. I pray that you are blessed this morning. Uh, man, I'm super excited to be here this morning. I don't know. I, I, I know. I know what it is. I, I do know what it is, and I'm, I'm gonna help us with that in just a bit. But um, yeah, man, man, this is amazing. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Come on in. Let's like and share. Let's like and share. God bless you all. Let's like and share. Thank you for your cyber events. Thank you for those of you who are already seating this morning. Wow, bless God. Some of you were seating in the early hours of the morning. God bless you for your seating. Amen. God bless you for your seating, man. We're super excited about you being with us today. Thank you so much for being here. We do not take it lightly that you spend, you invest this time with us um, and in, in this time with me as a, as a teacher and as an instructor. Um, we know that we have no need that a man will teach us, but we have the unction, which is from the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Listen, I encourage you to not know me by the flesh, but know me by the spirit. I don't know where I am, but I encourage you to know this ministry, know us by the spirit, not by the flesh. Amen? By the spirit, not by the flesh. We bless God for you being here today. Man. God is so good. God is so good. Man, what a great time we had last night in the intensive. Wow. Uh, man, if you enjoyed the intensive last night, drop, 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 drop just a, a, man, drop a one in the chat just to let me know. Man, we had a great time in the intensive last night. Um, man. All right. God bless you all as you join. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Harabo said to listen, love on someone as we prepare for our time today. Um, man, there's such a sweetness in the air in my spirit. And uh, man, I'm just, uh, man, I'm just, I'm just floored in the moment. In the moment, I'm really, really feeling sensitive this morning. Um, feeling really sensitive this morning. Um, and that's not in a, in any perverse way, but just, just sensitive. Um, just feeling his Holy Spirit this morning. Not I will sit here Is anyone else feeling in the atmosphere? I'm just feeling such a, Man, such a lightness and a love and a refreshing in the atmosphere. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Upon 
Yes, Jay. Hallelujah. Y'all feel that? Do you feel it? I feel it in the atmosphere today. I don't know. Listen, I feel it in the atmosphere today. I don't know. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. Good to go, uh, Bishop. Yes, God. We're good to go. Harabo said it today. Listen, listen, listen. Oh my God. Harabo said it. Listen, I'll, I'll hold my announcements for the end. Um, Arabo said it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You are you sensing the freshness? Come on. Harabo said it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Ah, Jesus. Make sure we like and share, please. Make sure we like and share. Make sure we like and share. Come on. There's a, there's a, listen. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. There, there's a, there's a freshness that we're going to experience and we're experiencing even now, even now. Harabo set de 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 de. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yep, yep, yep. That's it. We give you all the glory. Yeah, we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Yeah. Harabo City. Yes, God. Harabo mm. City. Yes, God. Yes, God. Listen, let me tell you something. Some of you, I, I hear this. De De Deborah, Deborah, Deborah Huffman Lewis, let me say this to you. When, when I saw your name pop up, I saw the turning of a corner, like you're turning a corner. You're about to step into something that's even greater, a greater dispensation, a greater revelation. Um, but I saw a turning of the corner. Um, and I don't know what that means to you. Well, I, I kind of know where some things are in your life, but there's a, there's a turning of a corner. You're about to experience something a bit different than you've ever experienced before. And um, man, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. Listen, let me tell y'all something that the Lord said to me this morning. And I wanted, I had a couple of interesting moments. I had a couple of interesting moments. Um, let me see, first of all, uh, I've got a reel for today, but I don't feel led to do it right now. I've got a reel for today, but I don't feel led to release it right now. And so I want to, I want to, I want to, to, to say this. Um, yeah, Erica, a fresh wind, a fresh wind. Let me say this to you. And, and and by way of new beginnings, by way of new beginnings, you know, we're in the month of Abib. This is the month of a new beginning. So a lot of you are going to experience transition this month. Um, a lot of what we think may be a negative change is going to bring a positive result. A lot of what we think is a negative change is going to be a positive result. Um, the Lord said something interesting, interesting to me this morning. He said something, I man, I hope I can keep up with the comments today. Um, 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 the Lord said something interesting to me this morning by way of revelation. You know, this is the month 
of Abib or Nisan, which is a month for new beginnings or, or, or fresh foundation. This is a month where we're going to see um, um, the head of a new year and some things are going to be different in your life. But watch this. As I was driving home from the gym this morning and thinking about a bead and running things through my spirit, Holy Spirit spoke this to me. And it is so, it is, listen, please hear me on this. Every place of fresh revelation is a new beginning. Come on, if you get that, put a two in the chat. Every time you get a fresh revelation, it's a new beginning. It is a rebirthing of ideal. It is a rebirthing of action. It is a rebirthing of ministry. It, it means that it shifts you to a different space, right? So every time God reveals something new to you, it requires or activates a shift. Come on. It requires or activates change. Watch this. And I want to encourage you in this. That, that you don't so much, watch this, grieve your period of error or grieve your period of getting it wrong or grieve your period of not, not being in the right space. Remember that we're on a revelatory, we're in a revelatory relationship with Jesus Christ. Paul said in Galatians, the first chapter, when it pleased God to reveal his son to me, I conferred not with man, but I immediately went to the backside of the desert into a period of isolation where I could deal with the revelation that I was receiving. Can I tell you this? That the revelation that you get in any moment may give you a desert experience. It may put you in a place where the people that you were hanging out with, the family, the friends, even the ministry, that you were doing has to shift. But watch this. Here's the tension of the revelation. They may not get the same revelation that you get at the same time. And so you may be, watch this, shifted into your desert space and they may still be hanging back in the oasis. What do I mean? You may be shifted to a place where God is about to speak to you and do some greater things with you. And they may just still be sitting back enjoying, sitting back enjoying their common knowledge of where they are. But if God gives you revelation and that revelation causes you to shift, you may not be able to stay in the comfort of the common knowledge that you had the day before. Come on, come on. I know I know this is a little bit different, but please hear me. I'm hearing the Lord say that every point of revelation is a fresh start, is a new beginning. So don't get frustrated and panic about what you didn't know, what you hadn't experienced, the previous condition of your heart. Do you know, and I hear this by the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord can shift your heart from stony ground to and, and, and wayward ground and 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 and, and all that the, 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 he can shift your heart to being good ground. He can shift your heart to being in the 30, 60, 100 fold category. He can reposition the attitude of your heart. You've got to understand that he can change the way you are relating to him through more revelation. And so what you have to understand is that watch this, the revelation that he gives you is going to cause change in your life. You may not, listen, listen, oh God, you may not be able to crow with the same crows. I'm saying it just like I heard it. You may not be able to crow with the same crows. Because the revelation has now pushed you to a different place. You may not be able to stay among the flock that you flocked with. You, you Listen, it may cause you to have to move. You can't hang out with that same fruit anymore. It may shift your mindset. And yes, they're going to say you think you're better. 
Yes, they're going to say you think you're somebody. And yes, they're going to say different things about you. But what you must understand is if you're going to fly, if you're going to move ahead, you've got to deal with what God is revealing to you. And what he tells you, he did not, listen, he didn't release it by committee. Once you get your vision down, I don't care if it's a vision for entrepreneurship. I don't care if it's a, if it's a vision for ministry. I don't care if it's a vision for your family. Once you begin to walk in the new vision, it's going to set you apart from your norm. Listen, you got to understand this. If you, listen, if you can't handle the rejection of your old, you will never embrace the revelation of your new. Come on, put a five in the chat. Put a five in the chat if you understand that. If you can't understand the rejection of your old, you will never embrace the revelation of your new. The change of mind will cause you to have to change your circle. Listen, 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 listen. I'm, uh, listen, I mean, I hear the Lord this morning. If you're going to have that new life that you see, you're going to have to begin to walk in what he said. You're not going to get away with being normal anymore. Get up off of your blessed assurance and get to work. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me say this to you. It may not look like anything to those that are not of that revelation, but God is showing you the, see, watch this. Let me show you how revelation works. God will show you the end of a thing in its fullness and then bring you back to seed form to work. Can I tell you, watch this. Can I tell you that in your father's seed, in that little in that little bit of sperm as small as it may have been it had your hair color your skin color it had your body size it had your dietary desires it had your d it, it, it's called dna what you see manifested began with the dna in the seed so watch this when they're looking at what you see you're seeing by way of revelation the fullness of the revelation you're seeing manifestation but god will drop you back to seed so you can walk to that revelation don't let people look at what you're doing and despise you for your small beginnings come on somebody put a seven in the check put a seven in the check seven is a number of, of completion it's a number of maturity don't let anybody despise where your ministry is today because guess what? You've already seen tomorrow. You've already seen tomorrow. Revelation lets you see ahead. It is prophetic in nature. You already see it whole and complete and lacking nothing. And you cannot let people judge you on what they see in its, in its infancy when you've already seen it in its maturity. I guarantee you some of you can testify to this. You did not listen. And here's the beauty of it. God is so amazing. Come on, Hillenard Rogers, Bishop, Apostle. He's so amazing that he will do exceeding and abundantly and above all you could ever ask, think, or envision. You can't even see. What you see is only a glimpse of the completion, and you ain't even seen everything he's going to do yet. But you will never embrace the revelatory manifestation if you're stuck on what was yesterday. Now, listen, let me tell you something. Now, now I, I did a reel this morning. I did a reel this morning and, 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 and watch this, watch this, watch this. I did a reel this morning and here's the crux of the reel. You have to catch it. I can't stop to play it right now, but you have to catch it. But the crux of it was this. I basically, in that real said, I had a wonderful workout this morning, but guess what? I missed yesterday. No, I can play it. I got time. You'll wait for me. You'll wait. Come on, tell me. You'll wait for me. You'll wait for me to do this. You'll wait for me to do this. We're not in that big of a hurry. I'm going to be done in a minute. I'll let you go in a minute. But but listen, let me, I, I need to release this to you. you you'll, you'll wait for a minute. Come on. 
Come on, will you wait on me just for a minute? Will you wait on me just for a minute, please? Come on, come on. Will you wait on me just for a minute? Give me just a second. You've got to see this because the Lord said something to me this morning and it messed me up. You got to understand something. Don't let people play you on where you are right now because where you are right now, they have not seen where you're going. And just because they're blind don't mean you ought not manifest. Come on, put a five in the chat. Just because they're blind don't mean you stop walking. Come on, somebody. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You, that just because they're blind does not mean you stop walking. You've got to keep it moving, y'all. You see the manifestation and they're despising the seed. And they don't know that everything they look at that in seed form has all of that manifestation in it. It's got to, it's just got to grow and be processed. Don't, don't listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me, let me hit this real quick. Let me hit this real quick because God hit me with this this morning. Here, here was our real for this morning, and I want to share this with you just for a second. Let me get this out. Come on, Jesus. Help me, Lord. My, my, my spirit is racing. So, but let me tell you something. Let me, I, I gotta, I gotta say this to you. I gotta say this to you. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this is for, but please hear me now. I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't know what that means to you, but, but the Holy Spirit tells me to tell you, I believe in you. I don't, as your, as your leader, as a brother, as a friend, as an apostle of the Lord, I believe in you. I don't understand why I'm saying that, but I believe in you. I believe that everything that God has promised is going to manifest in your life. I declare and decree that everything he has promised in your life, it is going to manifest. I believe in you. 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 The question is, do you believe in you? Do you believe in what God has said to you? Do you believe enough to step into the revelation so it's going to separate you from your past? Every moment of revelation is a new birth. It is a rebirth. I believe that everything, I believe every person under the sound of my voice is going to manifest the plan that God has put on their life. I declare it as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ that it is coming to pass. And though it tarry, you wait on that vision. It's going to manifest. Though it tarry, you wait on it. Don't you run away from the revelation because you go through hard seasons. It is going to manifest in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe that the Spirit of God in you is going to manifest. It is, I, it, and it is so. I believe in you. I believe, I believe that God is going to do it because the kingdom must arise and the world must see the glory of God on our lives. It is so. Let me, let me, let me do this real. Let me do this real. Let me do this real. Y'all stand by real quick. Stand by real quick. You got to hear this real. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, fam. Look, let's keep it real on the real. Listen, can I tell you something? I had a fantastic workout this morning. It was really good. Uh, my trainer really put it on me. But guess what? Yesterday, I missed it. Let me say this to you. Even if you miss it today, get up tomorrow and bounce back because tomorrow is waiting on you to make a decision to move again. Get up, get up and move. If you missed it yesterday, do it today. If you miss it today, get up because tomorrow is waiting on you. Peace, let's keep it real on the real. I'm gonna play that two times. I need you to get this. I need you to have a truly, truly moment. If you missed it yesterday, get up and do it today. And if you miss it today, tomorrow is still waiting on you. Get up, come on, come on, get up. Good morning, fam, look, let's keep it real on the real. Listen, can I tell you something? I had a fantastic workout this morning. It was really good. Uh, my trainer really put it on me. But guess what? Yesterday, I missed it. Let me say this to you. Even if you miss it today, Get up tomorrow and bounce back because tomorrow is waiting on you to make a decision to move again. 
Get up, get up and move. If you missed it yesterday, do it today. If you miss it today, get up because tomorrow is waiting on you. Peace, let's keep it real on the real. Listen, let me tell you something. Ain't no quitting kingdom. We ain't quitting, we ain't giving up on nothing. Now, what God said, it is going to be so. Listen, I don't know who that's for today, but I'm telling you that the spirit of the living God is he is he is still with you. He has not left you. He has not departed you. So you made a mistake. Everybody on this line has. So you messed up. What? Okay, D. Lewis Knight. Let me address this. Let me address this. Let me let me let me let me address this. And, and, and I don't. I, and D. Lewis Knight, I'm I'm gonna address your question. Look, watch this. I'm gonna address this question. Question uh, on avoiding women at work that's flirting with you. I'm a pastor and I need help. I gotta teach Bible study with some guilt. Watch this. Here's the question, D. Lewis Knight. The scripture says that let no man say when he is when he is drawn away that he's tempted of God when he's drawn away in his own lusts, okay? Let me tell you something, D. Lewis Knight. Them flirting is not really the issue. The real issue is, the real challenge is what's in your heart, my brother. Because no matter what they present, no matter what they present, you don't have to accept it. You pray, you take it captive by the word of God, you, you fight that spiritual warfare, but watch this, flesh is going to be flesh. Flesh is going to be flesh. It's what's in you that makes a difference. I don't care if they walk through your plant booty butt naked. You get your eyes focused on the Lord and you do what God told you to do. Don't you respond. See, what you got to do is put the right words on them. The Bible says, watch this, that the power of life and death is in the tongue. And a man, watch this, his belly shall be satisfied with the fruit thereof. So start speaking words of righteousness to yourself. Start speaking words of truth to yourself. Start giving them the word. Start rebuking those demons. Start rebuking them devils. And I'm telling you, they will back up off of you. What they see is, watch this, and listen, I'm a person who has dealt with flirting in my own life. I can be totally transparent. I ain't running from nothing this morning. I have dealt with flirting in my own life. Not only have I been flirted with, but I've been a flirt. I'm telling you, you know what you know. If you set your heart to walk in righteousness, the flirting will cease. Because the devil's got to find another way to try to get to you. So this is what you do. You fast, you pray, you sanctify yourself. Don't you bear any guilt. Because watch this, you can't stop being attractive. And let me tell you what many people will do. They will, they will come to you in the flesh because they see what's on you spiritually. They will come to you in the flesh because they will see what's on you spiritually. Watch this. I, let me prove my point. Let me prove my point. Have you ever seen, watch this, a ugly pastor with a short enough fine wife. Watch this. Was she attracted to the anointing or was she attracted to the fact that he looked like a pit bull in the face? No, it ain't about that. It's about the, it's about what is going to influence and attract. And many people will come to you in the flesh because they are attracted to the oil that's on your life. Now, here's where your responsibility is, D. Lewis Knight. Stay in the oil and don't get in your flesh. Because if you stay in the oil and don't get in your flesh, you will not entertain the flesh that's coming at you. So, so brother, I encourage you, you don't have to bear any guilt for being attracted. Don't, don't feel bad because God made you attractive. Just walk in righteousness and protect the oil that's on your life. Don't let them, don't let your good be evil spoken of, right? And if it's an area of weakness in your life, get you some men of God that you can walk accountable to. That they can call you and say, hey, D, you ain't playing today, are you? They ain't got to ask you. They, listen, they ain't got to ask you if you ain't sin. Did you? No, D, you ain't playing today, are you? And y'all know what that means. That means, D, you not flirting with folk today. D, you ain't playing today, are you? 
You ain't playing today, are you? Get you somebody. It may be your pastor. It may be an accountability partner that can discern you spiritually, not the women, but you. So they know where your heart is. So they can say to you, hey, bro, I'm picking you up in the spirit. You struggling today? You struggling today? Are you struggling today? Yeah, because I'm going to tell you this. I don't care who they are on this line. That Thank you, Bishop D. Lewis Knight. We'll be coming together as men on Saturday, and this may be a good time for you to come through 124 and be a part of discussions that are very much like this. Watch this. I don't care who you are on the line. Not, not a Negro on here, a cockazoid, a Negro. Uh, uh, I don't care who they are. As long as you're in this body, you're going to struggle with the flesh. You're going to see some, your flesh going to see something you like. Yes, it is. I don't care who it is. It's what you do with it. It's what you do with it. See, God gave us attraction to one another, male to female and female to male. He gave us that in Genesis. If you're not attracted to a female and she's not attracted to you, you got an issue. Yeah, yeah. See, the church don't want to talk about this part. Attraction is not evil. Lust. Sin, fornication, adultery, let's put it where it is. You have to learn how to get your flesh in subjection. But the fact that you are attracted, that's not, there's no sin in that. It's when you move from attraction into lust. Don't, don't, you gotta not act on it. You gotta, you gotta arrest your words and bring your heart and your flesh into a place. To where, yeah, she may be fine as wine, but don't you drink it. Don't you drink it. Don't drink it. All right. All right, D. I, 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 I didn't, that wasn't in my, that wasn't in my teaching for the day, but hey, bless God for the question. I don't know, I don't know where y'all are today, but I'm saying, I'm saying this to you. There's a freshness, there's a newness, and at every point of revelation, there is a new change. There's a new change. So listen, listen, that there, there, there is, listen, there, there's not a person, there's not a person on this line that has not dealt with issues of that nature. Because as surely as you put men and women in the same space, in the same place, social media, no matter what you have, if there is a medium to cross the sexes, you're going to have that kind of situation. I got, I got sons that work in plants and daughters that work in plants and, and they work everywhere. I, and, and let me get up off of that. It ain't even about no plant. It's no matter where your workplace is. You can walk into McDonald's. You can walk into Burger King. You can walk into any business and all of a sudden you're in a moment of temptation. Now, unless you're asexual and you have no sexual desire at all, unless you're asexual, and you have no sexual desire at all, you're going to see something you like. Because guess what? Guess what? Yeah, your husband's unique. But there's some characteristics the other men got that's just like your husband that'll catch your eye. Okay. All right. All right. I, 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 listen, let me get off that. D. Lewis Knight, let me tell you, brother, I appreciate your question. Because I believe it's helping other people likewise. I'm a, listen, I'm going to give y'all a street principle. I'm going to give, listen, I'm going to go street for a minute. And some folks may not like it. If you have to jump off the broadcast, go ahead and leave. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about some street, I'm going to talk about some street Negroid stuff. Some street stuff. Here's a moment of transparency. And here's something I truly believe. I'm going to give you two principles. Okay, God Almighty, help me, Jesus. Am I going here? Help me, Father. Am I really going here? I'm going to give you two principles. I'm going to give you two principles that I believe to be true. First of all, this is going to mess y'all up. Come, come here, D. Let me tell you something. Here's, here's one of the things you got to understand. Men don't choose women. Women choose men. Okay. First of all, first of all, Men don't choose women. Women choose men. I know, I know, I know, I know. Because watch this, sisters. 
I don't care how good he look. If you don't want him, you ain't got to have him. So, so a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff we see about, well, he harassed me. He did this and he did that. No, you made a choice too. I believe, I believe this is just Keith Moore. You can refute me, ladies, if you want to. I, you can you can get at me if you want to. You can shoot your comments. But I believe that women choose men. Men don't choose women. We find a woman. We find a woman. But she's got to choose that man. And, and I'll, I'll take you back to one of my friends, uh, 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 Master Sergeant Belinda Ray. Belinda Ray, when she she she's dead, she's gone on now. My boy TJ Nim, that, that, that listen, her kids are doing well. But let me say this to you. Belinda used to say, what is sexual harassment? He, she asked me that in class and in, in, in work with her. She said, she said, hey, hey, Sergeant Moore. Listen, I was talking to the friend. She says, what is what is what is um sexual harassment? I said, it's when a man, you know, says inappropriate things. I start trying to define what sexual harassment is. She says, no, what sexual harassment is simply two words, wrong man, wrong man. Because if it's the right man, you kiki kaka and you feel good about it in your flesh. I'm talking real practical now, so don't get deep on me. If it's the right man, it's like, oh, kiki kaka. See, see, see. But if it's the wrong man, now you sexually harassed. You, okay, okay. Do you think I'm stupid enough to believe that Negroes don't holler at Delita, Delita Williams more? I'm not that stupid. I'm not that stupid. It's up to her to govern that. It's up to me to govern those relationships with women. You've got to govern it because there's no way you will walk in this world and never cross paths with some of the opposite sex unless you go all the way into the Himalayas somewhere and become some monk on a mountain. And then you still can't get past your own mind. That's the first thing. I believe that women choose men. Men don't choose women. Okay, I know this, this isn't going to make us happy, but I'm going to tell you some truths. Here's another one. This, this, I, I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, I, I, I'm going to give you another one. And this, I'm, I'm, this is, this is, this, this will mess, this is going to mess up folks. And, and, and you're going to listen. I, listen, I, I'm not going to play with you today. I'm going to be straight up with you. I believe, here's another one that's going to mess us up. I believe that you know in the first three to five minutes if you're attracted to a person. When you meet and you encounter someone because of like spirits, you're going to know something's going to click. Something's going to click. You're going to know it. And because you know it, Well, I, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not speaking to the degree of or to the degree of of rape. Uh, that that actually is a violation. I'm talking about willful interaction, uh, Doctor Joy. I understand that, but I'm not saying I, I I'm, I'm not speaking of in that context of someone who actually violates another person. I'm talking about relations by choice. So 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 I I, I understand rape and 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 all those all those uh, and the other areas of violation. That wasn't necessarily what I was speaking to, um, but I but I understand your point. I understand your point. I do understand your point. Um, but I think I think also, you know, in the first three to five minutes, if there's an attraction, and you have to learn how to handle that properly. You have to already set them in a certain place so you know no violations will occur. You know no about you are you got to all you got to already in your soul categorize and put the barriers up and put the distance in and put the prayer on it and set it so it's not going to be a violation later. So that's just that's just two things I believe. So D, as you deal with this person, this this issue of flirting and you deal with this issue in your life, make sure your heart is in the proper place and no matter who comes at you, you stay positioned properly. It's on you, my brother. It's on you. Just like it's on each each and every one of us to conduct ourselves properly. All right? All right, I'm done with that. I think I'm done with that. All right. Um, didn't expect that one this morning, but here it is. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. So with every revelation, with every revelation, there is new beginning. All right. A um, couple of quick announcements. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. 
<laughs> y'all think I'm talking about? Y'all funny. Y'all gonna quit playing in church. Y'all gonna quit playing. Let's just be straight up, y'all. Come on, let's quit playing. Y'all playing in church. Yeah, you gotta know who you are in Christ. You gotta know who you are. You gotta know who you are in Christ. You gotta know who you are. But what does that mean? Let's let's explore that, Catherine. When you say you gotta know who you are in Christ, what does that really mean? Does, does it mean that every person that sinned didn't know who they were in Christ? Because if that's the case, then you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, and I'm not I'm not coming at you, Catherine, but I want you to work through that. When you say you gotta know who you are in Christ. Knowing who you are in Christ does not alleviate. It doesn't take away temptation. You just have to suppress it. You got to buffet your body. You got to still go through that process of disciplining your flesh because you're going to be in that body forever. And you got to let Christ fight your battles. I understand. I, and I get it. Yeah. Today's generation is, 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 is very tempting Okay, so let me ask, let me, let me, let me talk. Let's talk about this night. Let's talk about this night. Let's talk about this. See, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming after some thoughts now. I don't know why I am, but I'm just talking. So if, if, if there's only three categories of sin, there's, there's the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Every sin fits under that. Every sin that you can commit has already been committed. There's nothing new under the sun, Solomon says. So everything they're tempting you with has already taken place. There's no, I, I don't know if, listen, you go to, you go to, you go to this word and you really study it. You really study it. You'll see that everything that's happening now was happening then. It's all the same. You go all the way back to G in Genesis, in Genesis, you will find, you, you listen, you will find incest in Genesis. You find pedophilia in Genesis. You find all kinds of, you find homosexuality and lesbianism in Genesis. All the way back to the beginning, there is nothing you, amen, you got to put the flesh under subjection. You very much so have to. I agree 100%. But there's nothing new under the sun. It, it may be, watch this, we may have more access to it because of the advancement of society. Now we can, now, listen, it used to be in the 70s, you had to go to one of them little nasty theaters down there on, on the strip to go see pornography. But now I ain't got to go to no little nasty place down there on the strip where all the Christians should not go. I can pick up my cell phone. And see anything I want to see. The modernization has made it more visible, but it's always been around. There were men sleeping with men in Genesis, women sleeping with women in Genesis. There was bestiality. If it listen, if there if 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 bestiality didn't exist, why would God put prohibitions in place for it? Remember, the law was only to show man his sin. So it's always been here. It's been here. Because of the imaginations of the mind and the flesh, the stuff they're doing now is just more visible. It, listen, it is nothing to be poly today. Y'all know what being poly is? Polyamorous means that I can love more than one person and therefore I want to have three wives as a husband, I want to have three wives. That ain't nothing but the polygamy of the Old Testament. You go look at Solomon. Solomon had what? 300 wives and 700 concubines? I don't know what in the world this brother was doing to maintain all that. I think that's the numbers, right? Lashila, y'all check me. Was it 300 wives and 700 concubines? What in the world could one man do with all them women? But we say polyamorous is weird or polyamorous is a new thing. No, it ain't. It's the same thing. You just ain't looking at it and seeing it in scripture. You're not look, we don't, we're not, we're not, we're not letting the word speak. It's been there. These perversions we see today are nothing new. We just see it more often. 
We see it more often. We see it more often. Incest ain't nothing new. Remember, I think it was it was it uh 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 Noah's Noah's daughters. Was it Noah's daughters that sought to sleep with him in his nakedness, in his drinking, in his drunkenness? Was it the daughters? And the sons had to back in and cover him. It was he, his own daughters were finna sleep with him. This ain't nothing new, y'all. It's the same sin, but we serve the same God. We serve the same God. And the same temptations they faced, we face now. And we have to choose Christ. We have to choose righteousness. We have to choose holiness. We have to pray as Bishop Bernard said, lead us not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry, uh, Latricia said, lead us not into temptation. Why would, why would Jesus tell us to pray that if he didn't know we were going to have to face temptations? And lead us not into it. So y'all, it, it ain't nothing new under the sun. It ain't nothing new under the sun. Yeah, temptation can be hell. It can be rough. It can be rough. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something, D. Lewis Knight. Let me tell you something, D. Lewis. I, I, I'm going to talk to you for a minute, Pastor. Listen, you're already forgiven. By the grace of God, you are forgiven. You're already forgiven. You're already, get, you're already forgiven. No, we can't do it Friday. Friday, we're talking about evangelism. Uh, uh, Vicky's going to be out with Now Ministry. She's going to be our feature for Friday um, because she's going out to do the work. So it'll be a good topic, but we're going to have to put it further down in the lineup. Amen? <laughs> we're going to get them all in. We're going to get them all in. But guys, I, 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 I didn't mean to do this today. This wasn't my plan today. But I just know that 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 God God is is... With, with every new revelation, there's a new start. So I pray that some of us get some new start out of this. Can you pray today? Okay. If you want to pray today, let me turn my interview on. You can pray. Let me turn my interview on. I'm going to send you a link, Vicky, in your inbox. Yeah, you can pray today. I don't have any problem with you praying today. I'm going to, I'm going are you, are you saying pray on the line today, Vicky? Are you saying pray on the line today? Because I'm going to send you a link and I don't mind you praying today. Uh, are you talking about praying during the broadcast? Yeah. I hadn't had that request before, but I'm going to honor it. Today, today's just been a different day. I ain't mad. Are you saying pray today on the line, Vicky? Pops, can I have... Oh, you. Oh, pray for you. Oh, you need prayer today. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yes. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. You want to have prayer today? I got you. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So listen, we love you guys, man. Hey, hey. Um. God is good. See. Let me tell y'all something. We better deal with our humanity likewise. Now we keep it subject to the spirit. Yes, we do. We keep it subject to the spirit. We want to keep it subject to the spirit. But you got to be real. You got to be real. If you don't know yourself and know the enemy's tactics, you're going to always fall for it. You're going to fall for the okie doke every time. You got to know what tempts you. You got to know. And so, Father, I bless you now for all those who assemble on this line this morning. I thank you now for our time together. I thank you for your fresh revelation. I thank you for your fresh wind. I thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be together today. God, help us not to walk in the misconception that because we don't acknowledge, it doesn't exist. So, Father, I, I, I lift up the kingdom to you. I lift each of us up to you in our respective places. Keep us in your care right now. Keep us in your care right now. Keep us as we deal with the issues of our lives, as we deal with the things that challenge us, God, keep us. And so, God, I bless you now. And, Father, I ask you, to touch Vicky's body today, God, you know those things, Lord God, that are that are plaguing her physicality. We thank you for renewing her spirit, for keeping her mind, for not letting a spirit of depression fall over her. But God, we ask you, we ask you just to strengthen her right where she is. God, we, we declare that by the word of God that healing is the children's bread. So it is, you want us healed, God. You want us whole. You want us prospering. You want us doing well. And so, God, I ask you, Father God, to touch Vicky's body. Touch each of us 
each of us in whatever situation we're in today, God, breathe fresh, breathe new. We thank you, Father. And we love you that our, that our healing is complete in Christ Jesus. We love you that, Lord God, you're straightening out the, 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 the damage to her spine and her back and her hips. And, and you're causing those things to align. We pray that you're taking pressure off of her sciatic nerves. We pray, Lord God, that you just continue to heal our body now in the name of Jesus. And so God, today as we go forth, we ask you to allow us to represent your kingdom, to represent Christ in a fresh new way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, I love you guys, man. Y'all forgive me for going going out, going off to today. It's a little bit, get out, baby. Get out, go home, go home. Thank you, thank you, baby, go home. All right, I'm sorry. My baby wants to be up in my lap this morning. I don't know why. It may, it may be the season. Maybe she's feeling this fresh season that we're in. I don't know. Y'all are silly. Quit playing in church. Y'all quit playing in church. Quit playing in church. Listen, I love you guys, man. Um, listen, listen. Let's stay motivated. Let's stay uplifted. Let's let God do what God is going to do. And I promise you that he is amazing and he loves you. He's forgiven you and he wants to see you win. He wants to see you win. He wants to see you win. Your God is in your corner. He's in it to win it. He is in your corner. No, you ain't perfect yet, but you're being perfect. You're being perfect. Listen, I ain't gonna never tell you I'm there. I'm gonna tell you I'm growing because I ain't gonna be there until I'm fully redeemed. Yep, this little chocolate Negro from Pritchard, Alabama. Come on, come on. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be coming around the mountain till he comes. Amen. Y'all silly. Y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know that song. Y'all don't know that song. Y'all don't know that song. <laughs> I'm gonna be coming around the mountain till he comes. Amen. Come on, y'all. That's an old one now. Some of y'all old folks know that song. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm getting silly now. I'm growing every day. I'm trying to hear God every day. Thank you, Jean, Jean, uh, Jean Evelyn Davis. I'm trying to grow every day. I'm trying, I'm trying, listen, but, but listen, I, and I'm gonna say that. Hear this, please. Your position and your practice, you are justified in Christ, D. Lewis. We are justified. He sees us as the redeemed. Watch this. But our actions and our walk has to, through the process of sanctification and righteousness, cause us to behave as the redeemed. He sees you through the blood of Jesus Christ. But we've got to we've got to embrace that blood and apply it to our lives so we can walk as those who are under the blood. We got to learn how to fight through the blood, walk through the blood. We got to trust him. But God sees us as the redeemed, as the beloved, as his chosen one. His view of us is, is I'm telling you, his view of us is much greater than how we view ourselves. We're growing every day to be what he sees. We're growing every day. He, he, cho he chose us to be conformed, to be patterned after the image of his son, Christ Jesus. We're growing every day, brother. Keep growing. Let's keep growing together. Y'all, I got to stop because I feel a flood of the oil flowing. And if I don't stop, I'm going to be here for two more hours. It's like I can't cut it off right now. But y'all, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. Stay up. Keep, keep Listen, face the headwind and keep walking. God loves you. All right? Love you guys. Mm. Love you guys. Arabo City. Uh -uh, I gotta go to work, Deborah Taylor. No, 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 no. No more flow. Love y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. I got to get out of here and go give Caesar his time. I love y'all. Y'all have a great day, okay? I love you guys dearly. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Help me, Lord. I love y'all. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. I'm shutting it down. I love you.